Hey y'all, it's Alec with Sharing the Journey. Cindy will be here in a little bit, but today we're packing up. So we leave here on Sunday, and our first stop is going to be at uh, Iowa, Louisiana. We're headed up to Alabama to get our generator repaired, and then we're off to Montana to spend the summer in West Yellowstone. But the reason I'm making this video today is because this part of RV life is really stressing me out. So we work camp our way across the country, one job at a time, and we sit anywhere from three to six months, except for in this case, we've been here for seven months and it's been a long time. And we've also had lots of issues come up with our motorhome. Now we've been living in, in Tiffy, that's what we call her, Tiffy, for the past five years on May 10th. And uh, we haven't had any real problems with her. We've had uh, one electrical problem when our transfer switch went out. Other than that, she's been good except for regular maintenance. Well, the wind in here in Rockport, Texas has been so bad and there's, it's so humid and so muggy and the salt air is we've had to replace our slide topper up there, $500. We've had to get our regular awning reattached because the wind got underneath it and pulled one side loose. We've had, because of the hellacious rain and wind that we have here, We've had a roof leak. We've had the fireplace go out. We've had the front air conditioner go out. We had a leak underneath the bathroom sink. And it's just stuff that happens after you've been in an RV for a while. Well, preparing to move or moving really gets me stressed out. And it's not because of anything that's ever happened with our 2019 Tiffin. This has been a beautiful coach. Like I said, the only real problems we've had, we've had while we were here in Rockport. I don't know if it's the weather along with, hey, she's hit a, a uh, age where um, stuff's just wearing out and needs to be replaced, which, you know, we budget for that and we understand that. Uh, but the coach before this one, we had a, 2017 I think it was Coachman 32 SS with the super slide so it was a foot shorter than this coach if I'm not mistaken but it only had one slide and the slide was 32 feet long so it went from right there behind the um, driver's window on the passenger side all the way back to about six inches in front of the rear cap seam. And it was a Swintec. What is a Swintec? Our bedroom slide here is a Swintec. You can tell a Swintec by these ridges they have at the bottom and up at the top. Well, and they have a little tiny motor, sits here and up there. And you push the button, the motor turns and it pulls the slide in. Well, on our Coachman, the slide was full of the pantry, the sofa, the dinette, the dresser drawers, the sh I think it had the shower. I don't remember anyway, up here or in the video i've got a picture i went back and found a picture of our coachman and um i'll put a picture in there so you can see what the motorhome looked like there's not a time that we went out that the slide did not give us trouble and at least every other time the slide got completely stuck and we had to we had to call a repair person or call the coachman hotline. And then the week that we were gonna start full-timing, 
we loaded up we were already living in the coach in our driveway i went to shut it up so we could head up to uh the state park we were going to go to the state park for a few days the slide came in at an angle got hung up had to cut the uh the part the that the teeth went in off and then i had to get a friend of mine to come over with his tractor and we put a blanket around the tractor and we had to use the tractor to manually push it in and then i had to put some boards on the inside where the slide comes in the slide box i had to put some four by fours to keep it from going out and uh you know like i said we had that coach for 14 months every time we went out we had a problem and it makes me very stressed and it doesn't help that the coach we had before that which was another forest rivers product uh, we had a forester uh, every time we went out the it had bigfoot jacks the jacks would act up it was an easy fix i just had to take the control panel off unplug the power to it wait five minutes plug it back in it reset and it went up but every time it did it and then it caught on fire and burned up and that's how we got the Murata. so i i said that it really hasn't been the tiffin here that gets me stressed out but i worry so much that we're gonna have problems like we've got we leave here on sunday we have to be in northern alabama at eight o'clock in the morning wednesday to get our generator fixed oh that's the other thing the salt water here even though i ran it every six weeks for an hour under load the last time i tried to start it it wouldn't start and then i could get it to run for a few seconds and it would shut off and we've got a warranty an extended warranty but i have to get it fixed at a onan certified repair shop none of the local people here in rockport so the only place i could find none of the people here in rockport could do it the only place i could find was uh in tuscumbe alabama that could fit me in in our trip up to um montana so we're going what 16 hours the wrong direction to go get this fixed so about a week before we get started pack well the week we start packing up so it takes us a week to pack up you know i washed the coach which tell me what you think i washed her and waxed her i think she turned out very good got all the scum off of her um i start getting the dry heaves and if i bend over like example this morning i emptied the gray and black tanks right here i emptied the gray and black tanks and when i would bend over i would start to dry heave and because i'm so anxious about um about closing up and having problems all because the uh the Murata, um failed us just about every time and uh ended up having to they said it'd be six months and i think sixteen thousand dollars because it was out of warranty to get it fixed i traded it in on on the open road here and um so that's what's going on with me i'm stressed i got to get this stuff put up um oh and to help matters if you saw the video that i dropped um this morning which is wednesday uh we went down to check on our jeep because i thought it would be ready um it's got uh corrosion they're having to they had to strip the jeep down watch the video from yesterday i'll put a link down below but um it's got corrosion they had to take the whole jeep apart over five thousand dollars luckily we made it within two months of the warranty and jeep is going to going to fix it for free but it's taken them longer to fix it than i thought so a lot of this stuff like the chairs the propane bottle all that goes in the back of the jeep so i'm just going to kind of start a pile at the back and i'm gonna get the rest of this stuff put up because i've got to work thursday and friday and we would like to get out of here first thing sunday morning so we're going to hopefully get the jeep friday morning pack everything up but all this uncertainty 
all the issues and everything has got me extremely stressed out about leaving Rockport. So part of getting everything ready and kind of what stresses me out a little bit is um, I try to reorganize the bins out here. They get to be in pretty bad shape or disorganized when um, we unpack a bunch of stuff. And so now the plan is to get it all together. Stick your head in, Cindy. When his wife goes through stuff and just willy-nilly puts it back in. So I was given the nice version of that. <laughs> I, had to go get, I had to go get my kneeling pad. Get old, you gotta have stuff like that. Get old, you gotta have stuff like that. So one of the first things I do when I'm down here is our coach has a central vacuuming system. Is I check the bag. She's not quite half full. So I check it, make sure that we're good. That way there's nothing like getting all the tubing between here and inside the coach blocked with dog hair and dog hair and stuff. So I got some stuff to put in this bay and I've got some uh, organizing to do, but I hope that I'm able to take a hundred pounds worth of stuff that we don't use anymore and get rid of it. Because you pick up a lot of stuff when you stay somewhere for a while and uh, it's best before you get on the road to get everything organized and to figure out what you're gonna throw away. Very stressful. So this made the cut because we do have four floats in here. We have not used this in two years because we haven't been somewhere where we can float, but we plan on being somewhere. <laughs> We're hoping this winter we leave South Carolina to go spend a month in Florida vacationing. And uh, maybe we'll see you out there, Kevin and Squirrel Tribe. Um, so this has made the cut. Bug zapper we use everywhere. It's made the cut. Cindy's putting the chairs up. We definitely use the chairs. So Cindy, you may have to go to the other side. Well, I think I got it. That hose is gonna have to come down some. I threw one of the fishing rods away because everywhere we go, I buy a fishing license and I never have time to fish. Um, one of them had a broken tip, so I just, it was old, I threw it away. I've still got one in there. I'm going to give it one more campground and, uh, and then we'll probably be cutting it. Bird feeders going up. We use that just about everywhere. Roll her up in a blanket. We can get rid of those two carpets inside. Which two? The big one. The ones that are rolled up by the bed. Um, no, I think in Montana, I want to have the one on the carpet because there's so much sand and dirt. The one that we usually put in the floor. Uh-huh. We'll keep that one. Don't we have two? It's just that I thought one. we had a runner, too. Oh, yeah, if we have a runner, I don't like the, the runner. All right. So we'll put the grill in here. And then I'll cover it. We'll put the Coleman stove in here.
and then the cat carrier. So out of that bay, we got it all, got all that organized. And then that's the throwaway. That table weighs about 20 pounds and the fishing rod. So I've only got to find, I only have to find 80 more pounds. Up, oh, Cindy found an old rug from inside. We'll count that as another pound. So the other thing we have to do while we're preparing to leave is, and we're packing everything up, is here in the hydraulic bay. We check to make sure there's no leaks on the fittings. Just to make sure there's no problems. All right, so it looks like I've got everything that can be put up, put up. There's my junk, the stuff we're throwing away. I didn't quite make 100 pounds, but I did okay. Got our uh, portable tote there for wastewater and gray water. This is all stuff that goes in the back of the Jeep. So all I've got left to do is to Saturday night, disconnect the water and put up the sewer hose. So I have uh, used T9 to lubricate the jacks, the stairs. I'll do it again Saturday night. I've got everything secured. I'll take that to the trash can and uh, when we get the Jeep back, I'll throw that along with, uh, when I say that, I'll throw that in the back of the Jeep. I've got the bike rack. I'll put the bikes on the rear of the Jeep and uh, fingers crossed, we're not gonna have any Coachman Murata issues. Um, I worked the big slide four days ago I cranked the engine, so the only thing I have not done is test the jacks. The jacks are on the same hydraulic system and I have not checked the rear slide. So I still got a little bit of stuff to do. Um, I think I'm managing my stress better this time. Cindy, what do you think, am I? I do, but you're not supposed to show me because I look terrible. She always looks sexy as hell. <laughs> so anyway. Um what no you have handled the stress a lot better i'm not sure what we're doing different but i don't know but i've got my carbonated water when i start getting the dry heaves i have to i usually drink diet pepsi but i am completely off diet pepsi and uh, so the carbonated water seemed to work this morning when i had a little spout or bout of it and we're good so we're gonna get this together get this posted um Stay tuned Friday or Saturday. We're going to put up a video. We got a brand new GPS system for the coach that should make it a lot easier going down the road because it's up to date. I'll explain all that in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we uh, continue to ask for prayers. You know, it's always, always good to have prayers for a safe journey. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. If you want to help us a little bit of gas money down the road, not begging, but you know, buy. I got buy me a coffee link in there and my Amazon affiliate. If you want to buy something from Amazon, just click on whatever product I have listed and search for whatever you want. I haven't reminded y'all about that or the buy me a coffee in a while. So, help with gas money. But it helped with gas money, as Cindy says. Until then, we'll see you down the road.